Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Jesus on portals, he's waiting and watching, watching for you and for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us enter into the presence of God in the silence of our hearts. Brother, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son, to show the value of human suffering, listening kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united in, to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the holy ones and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossia, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always give thanks to you, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus 
and the love that you have for all the holy ones because of the hope reserved for you in heaven. Of this you have already heard through the word of truth, the gospel that has come to you. Just as in the whole world it is bearing fruit and growing, so also among you. From the day you heard it and came to know the grace of God in truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow slave, who is a trustworthy minister of Christ on your behalf, and who also told us of your love in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I, like a green olive tree in the house of God, trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I trust in the mercy of God forever. I will thank you always for what you have done and proclaim the goodness of your name before your faithful ones. I trust in the mercy of God forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's brother-in-law, mother-in-law, was afflicted with severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. As sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, to the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. He rebuked the fever, and it slept her. Brothers and sisters, the description of this healing show us there's a mysterious connection between Jesus, his power of healing, and the, and the way that he healed people. Because this, the gospel could have said she was healed by the word of Christ. Nope. He said the fever was rebuked and left her. There is something about this description that speaks about the, that, that connection of the spiritual, of, of, of the, the, the illness in the spiritual sense. Because in the way that we live our spiritual life, 
there is a constant purification that needed to, to happen. There is, a con there is a constant sense of letting go of, of create, of once one a space in our uh, in our soul being created, God can enter, just like Peter's mother-in-law, where the fever left her, she got up and served other people. You see, the moment that the space in her soul is being left, being created by the leaving of the fever, grace happen and she begin to realize immediately that what is her mission allow yourself to realize that in the small ways and the big ways in your life ask god for the grace of purification and allow yourself to create a space in your soul for the action of grace and Ask God for a deeper realization of your own inspiration and your own calling. Knowing that our God longs to heal us, we offer him our prayers today. For the church, may God strengthen all its members in proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For civic leaders, may God grant them wisdom in working for peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who feel alone, and for those who have no one else to pray for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For the community of faith gathered here, may God draw us closer to one another through intercessory prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they rejoice in the peace reserved for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the repose of the soul of Miguel Pilorin, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of healing, we know you draw near to us today. We ask that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
further divine the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of, eter of e eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be pulled out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Thomas and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your, of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. How great is the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you.
pray. O oh God, only support of human of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Saint Michael the Archangel.